Um, you know, it's hard to lose at home. You know, we had uh, just didn't we didn't put 40 minutes together. Um, you know, I, I thought we had great stretches, great spurts that we played great basketball, and, but just not enough. We had too many mental breakdowns um, defensively. You know, and shots weren't falling. You know, we had good looks that just we couldn't knock down and. Uh, you know, sometimes, but that's where, you know, when things aren't going well on the offensive end, you know, the defense has to pick up and uh, create some offense for you. So, so obviously disappointed, but, you know, these non-conference games, Northern Iowa's a good team. I mean, give them credit. They're, uh, they're balanced. They can score in a lot of different ways. And, um, you know, this is a kind of team that's going to help prepare us for the Horizon League season because those are the exact same, same teams we're going to see, you know, come January. Um, you guys fell down by 19 in the first half, but in the second half you pulled within five um, before they just kind of pulled away at the end. What do you, what do you attribute that to? You know, I felt like we, you know, first five minutes, I felt like we were in a fog. You know, we just weren't ready to play at that intensity level. And, you know, defensively, I think, um, you know, made a great 11-2 run going into the halftime and um, were able to cut into the lead and obviously gave us some momentum going into the second half. And we started getting the ball inside better, playing the inside-outside game, got some easier looks. Um, but I think it was some of our defensive intensity picked up. Our zone, I thought, was very effective um, and kind of stymieing them and um, was able to get us back into the game. And then just, I mean, after the, I think there was a timeout when it was 56-51, and then they just kind of pulled away. I think there were six of the last seven from the field. I mean, yeah, just mental breakdowns defensively, I thought. You know, we had looks, we missed, and I, you could just see the winds in our sails kind of. And then they, you know, and then undisciplined on the defensive end and gave us some easy ones. And, um, you know, they hit a three-point play. They had a, we had a good defensive play. They got the offensive rebound, put back, and won. You know, they had a three-point play that put them back up eight, and then I felt like, the winds were out of our sails, and you know that's where we got to get tough mentally, and uh, you know fight back, and not let that us, you know, being able to stop stop the bleeding that we weren't able to do. And then Lindsay is probably the most consistent offensive player today. Got her thousandth point. Um, could you just talk about just kind of what she's meant to the team and kind of how her career has gone, getting a thousand point in her 99th career game. It's I think tenth fastest in school history. Wow. Yeah, she's a ball player and, um, you know, really taking up, you know, not only as a, a scorer for us, but she's been a great leader for us. You know, she plays with passion, you know, competitive spirit, you know, hates to lose. And um, so it was great to see her hit that milestone, um, you know, one of many. But uh, it's good to see her get that tonight. Um, wish we could have gotten a victory alongside of it. Great.